People don't understand hormones very well in men. Men make testosterone. It's equivalent to the estrogen and progesterone that women make, and everybody knows about that, and they know about menopause, and you run out. What we're looking after with low testosterone is menopause for boys. Some people call it andropause, manopause, but it's low hormones, and you can get those at any age. If you get a concussion at 16, we've seen all kinds of kids that have knocked out their hormones. And what do they do? A lot of them get depressed. Antidepressants don't work if you have low hormone depression. It's like putting, well, let's try vinegar in the gas tank. No, you gotta put gas in the gas tank. Well, you put testosterone in the gas tank if you're short of testosterone. So we do have a, a study that shows a 78% improvement in mood on men with low testosterone. Well, there's no antidepressant that gives that improvement in mood. So that's one of the ways we can treat depression. Lots of our men say, I'm, I'm depressed, I've been on three different antidepressants and they don't work. One of the guys called them there's his zombie pills and I said, what do you mean? Well, the antidepressant didn't work, so they raised the dose and that didn't work and they gave me a second one and then they gave me a third one and now I have zero mood. The doctor said, well, that's success, you're not depressed. And I said, but I'm not happy or anything else. They aren't treating the whole person. They're not treating the cause. So antidepressants are often used and the real problem is low testosterone or low thyroid. How do we pl replace testosterone? There's three different ways. The gold standard, 100% success rate, is injections. Personally, I got allergy injections as a kid. I went to the doctor every week and I swore to myself I would never do this again. So that we've taught probably 5,000 men how to inject themselves with a tiny little needle into the thigh once a week so they don't sit in a doctor's office doing this. And we can titrate levels and get them perfect and we know that if we get the right level, men will absorb this 100% of the time. So that's a 100% success rate. And there are things we have to monitor, but there's not very much that's going to be a problem. We know that. The other two things that we have is we have a gel for men that really don't want to do injections, and they put the gel on the inside of their arms and sometimes on their legs, and they do that daily, whereas the injections are every week. So they do this every day, and we probably cure about 80% of men with us. And cure is probably the wrong word because you've knocked out the machinery to make testosterone, so what we're doing is fixing the problem when you're on it. It's not a case of, we're going to do this for a while and then you stop and you're good. No, you've broken the machinery. But because it lowers death rates, people don't think anything about we on cholesterol, lower drugs, or insulin. For what? To save death rates 20 years down the road. Both of those drugs make you feel worse. Testosterone makes you feel better and it also reduces death rates. So the equivalent in women is putting them on hormones lowers death rates 29% per year and that's a similar reduction in death rates per year for men on testosterone. And then the third way of using testosterone is a new nasal gel. It's a very thick gel that you spray in your nose twice a day. And the advantage of this is that you pulse it. You have one blast in the morning and one blast later in the day, 12 hours later. That's like putting a key into a lock and turning it. That key doesn't have to stay in the lock for that door to stay open for 12 hours. That's what it's equivalent to. So because you pulse these hormones, you don't get any changes, particularly you don't get a reduction in sperm count that you get on the other way, use, uh, the other ways you use testosterone. So young guys with head injuries particularly want this to stay fertile. And even with the injections, we can give you another injection to keep your fertile, so we can always get around that problem because testosterone on its own usually will lower your fertility, so there are ways around that as well. And those three ways are safe and they're effective in reducing death and making you feel better.